Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for November 26th. Today's devotion is titled Partnership with God. The Bible reading is from Mark chapter 6, verses 35 to 44. Late in the afternoon, his disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. But Jesus said, You feed them. With what? they asked. We'd have to work for months to earn enough money to buy food for all these people. How much bread do you have? he asked. Go and find out. They came back and reported, We have five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Jesus told the disciples to have the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of 50 or 100. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven, and blessed them. Then, breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. He also divided the fish for everyone to share. They all ate as much as they wanted, and afterward, the disciples picked up twelve baskets of leftover bread and fish. A total of five thousand men and their families were fed. When my friend and her husband struggled to conceive, doctors recommended she have a medical procedure done, but my friend was hesitant. Shouldn't prayer be enough to fix our problem, she asked. Do I really need to do the procedure? My friend was trying to work out what role human action has in seeing God work. The story of Jesus feeding the crowd can help us here. We may know how the story ends. Thousands of people are miraculously fed with just a little bread and some fish. But notice who is to feed the crowd. The disciples. And who provides the food? They do. Who distributes the food and cleans up afterward? The disciples. You give them something to eat, Jesus said. Jesus did the miracle, but it happened as the disciples acted. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A good crop is a gift from God, but a farmer must still work the land. Jesus promised Peter a catch of fish, but the fishermen still had to cast his nets. God can tend the earth and do miracles without us, but typically chooses to work in a divine human partnership. My friend went through with the procedure and later successfully conceived. Well, this is no formula for a miracle. It was a lesson for my friend and me. God often does his miraculous work through the methods he's placed in our hands. When are you tempted to pray without acting? And what's God calling you to act on right now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.